A phone call to a local radio DJ ends up saving a woman's life. Inside Edition is next. As a DJ, Chris Chaos is used to taking all kinds of requests. But when she wanted a certain Vince Gill song, he knew something was wrong. You could tell by my voice that, that I was well, in a bad situation. Today, how this disc jockey reached out and saved her life. Comedy is comedy. If, if you know how to do it, it's great. Depending on your age, you know him from his movies, his telethons, or his Broadway debut. But a new book says there's more to Jerry Lewis. A private side with more than a few tears. It's an unbelievable story. And we're not pulling the wool over your eyes. Six little lambs born to one mother you, And you won't believe what it takes to keep their stomachs full. We don't count sheep to go to sleep. We're too tired to worry about it. And... No, Eliza. No, Eliza, you didn't sigh that. You didn't even say that. Henry did it for Eliza. But who does it for today's biggest stars? I think this is getting too personal. It's Sam. Now this voice coach grades the successes and failures when it comes to access. Welcome to Inside Edition. I'm Deborah Norville. People phone radio disc jockeys every day. But when Chris Chaos received a call from a listener at his Florida radio station, he realized it wasn't the usual song request. And his quick reaction to the distress in the voice of the caller may have saved her life. Joel Loy has the story of the great radio rescue. High on that mountain is a song that country superstar Vince Gill wrote as a tribute to a fallen friend. But that song was to put Chris Chaos in the middle of the biggest drama of his life. Cat Country 107 FM, your 25 in a row station. It's Chaos on the Case. Welcome to Club Cat. Or as a DJ a at country radio station WCKT in Fort Myers, Florida, Chris regularly chats with listeners. Hi there, Cat Country. Can you name the song? Yes, I can. What is it? And he's used to playing roles. Everything from wacky DJ to nocturnal friend to the lonely. But he never played the role of lifesaver until the night he got a call from listener Lisa Lewis. I'll take more before the night so I can see where, where to get it at. I'll talk to you later. No, you won't either. Where are you going? I'm going to fall asleep here on the couch and hope that I don't wake up. At first, Chris thought the call might be a prank. But when Lisa made a song request, he knew a life could be at stake. She requests Go Rest High on That Mountain by Vince Gill, which is a, a tribute to a singer, Keith Whitley, who passed away a few years ago due to a, an overdose. She didn't seem drunk. She, uh, she seemed spaced. She seemed lost. Well, what'd you take? How much did you take? No, I'll talk to you later. No, don't hang up. After Lisa hung up, Chris got her phone number by pressing star 69, the call return feature on his phone. After learning Lisa's phone number, Chris called 911. 911, what is your emergency? Hey, I, I think it's a potential suicide. I'm a disc jockey at a radio station. I've got a number, but I lost contact with her after about five minutes. When paramedics arrived at Lisa's house, they beat down the door and found her unconscious. So they picked the lock, and the only thing I remember are the bright, were the bright lights shining in my face. Paramedics say Chris's quick thinking saved Lisa's life. I was pretty lucky to get a phone number so that the police could trace it. The paramedics could get there in time, and she made it. That's, that's a miracle. A miracle that puts this DJ on the top of the charts with Lisa. He could tell by my voice that, that I was well, in a bad situation, and that I needed help. I basically knew, you know, in between all this, that he'd be there for me. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for giving my life back to me. Glad we made it to the pine. Glad you did too. Cool. 
Lisa is still calling into Chris's show, checking in with him now on a regular basis.